<coughs> Welcome learner to STEM pathway. Today we are focusing on solve linear equation by substitution method. Any, if you see any written equation with this sign, that means it is a linear equation. Linear come from the word line straight. But today we have to solve those linear equations by substitution method. We are going to see how to form those linear equations and how to solve them. Let us go see to the example. Substitution means replacing. Substitution means replacing. Like in the football, somebody may play, and at the time he's getting tired, he's being substituted by a player who was just warming outside. So, substitution means replay, replacing. So, let us look at an example, e.g. Let us write this question down. Let us have this question down. Let us have two numbers, x and y, are such that two numbers, two numbers, two numbers, two numbers, x and y, are, are such that, are such that, are such that, their sum is 12, their sum is 12, such that their sum is 12. Then it continues saying, and their difference, and their difference, their difference, their difference is, is six, is six, is six. Use substitution method to find the numbers. Use substitution method to find the numbers. I want you to follow Lana Kinley. I'm going to do examples of three. So we are told to find the x and y, which their sum is, is 12, their difference is 16. Sum, solution. Sum means addition. Difference means subtraction. Mm, quotient means division. Product means multiplication. So, addition of x plus y gives us 12. And subtraction of x minus y gives us 6. Gives us 6. These are the true linear equation because of the inequality because of the what? Equation, equation sign, the equation sign. So we have x plus y is 12. Their difference, the difference over x and y gives us 6. So we have equation 1 and we have equation 2. Now, in substitution, you make either x or y a service formula by taking the rest other side. For example, if you want to make x here, a subject formula x must remain alone so this positive y you take the side putting this equal equal sign it becomes minus y so that we have x is equal to 12 minus y and therefore x in the first equation is equal to 12 minus y we take this 12 minus y and replace it in the second equation that is what is called substitution so, the second equation is x minus y is equal to 6. But we are using substitution. We replace, we replace x, we replace x with 12 minus y. So, this x here will be 12 minus y minus y is equal to 6. This is negative, negative y minus negative y is negative 2y. Take this positive 12 to the other side becomes minus 12. So this will be equal to 6 minus 12. Negative y is equal to negative 6. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Y is equal to positive 3. So y is positive 3, but here x was equal to 12 minus y. So let us also replace y with it. 3 to find x, so x is equal to 12 minus 3, x is equal to 9. So our x is 9, our y is 3. Those are the values of x and y using substitution method.
Let me do, let us do a second example. May pause and look at it. Let us do a second example. Let us do a second example. So you know substitution means substitution means uh, replacement. Replacing. Allow me also have this. Substitution means replacing. Second example, maybe the last example. Then we look at furthermore. So this one says, this one is, this one we are given this. I want just to pick two already. So we have been given 3x, 3x plus y is equal to 5. Then you are told 4x plus 6y is equal to 2. So this is equation 1. This is equation 2. You are told solve by substitution method. So you can decide to make either x or y subject formula. Let us take the first equation now. 3x solution. 3x plus y is equal to 5. I want now to make x, y the subject formula. I take this other side minus 3x. So y, which is positive y, is equal to 5 minus 3x. So 5 minus 3x is y. I replace that in the second one equation. So this will be 4x plus 6 is outside. Y is 5 minus 3x. So bracket 5 minus 3x is equal to 2. Why are we putting in the bracket? We need to multiply 6 y, but with y, but y is 5 minus negative 3x. So we are multiplying everything here with 6. So we have 4x. Positive times positive is positive. 6 times 5 is 30. Positive times negative is negative. So positive 6 times negative 3x is negative 18x is equal to 2. And therefore, we collect like terms. This is 4x minus 18x. Take this aside. Positive 30 becomes negative 30 is equal to 2 minus 30. This will give you negative 14x is equal to negative 28. Divide by negative 14. Divide by negative 14. X is equal to x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2, but y is 5 minus 3x. So y is equal to 5 minus 3. In the bracket, our x is 2. So y is equal to 5 minus, because the minus here comes because negative times positive is negative 6. So our y is negative 1. So our x is 2. Our y is negative 1. And we have solved it. We have solved it. I want us to do the last example. You can pause to try this. X of 8x minus 4y minus 4y is equal to 24. Then this other one is 7x plus 6y is equal to 59. It's equal to 59. You may pause and try that before we do it. Before I do it, allow me to have this part. You can pause and try that question to see whether you get it or not. Let us do it together. 8x minus 4y is that so. Let us make x our subject formula. So solution. 8x minus 4y is equal to 24. Check this other side. 8x is equal to 24 plus 4y, because this is negative, becomes the sign positive 4y. Divide this by 8, divide everything here by 8. So that our x, x is equal to 24 plus 4y all over 8, all over 8, all over 8. So that is our value for x. So you substitute this in the second equation. Second equation is 7x plus 6y is equal to 59. So here we have 7. We replace x with everything over there. Bracket 24 plus 4y over 8 plus 6y is equal to 59. So we have this. This is over 1. So we open the bracket. This can be written as 7 
or number one times 24 plus 4y all over 8. So we can multiply the numerator by everything here, numerator and denominator by denominator. So this will be given us 7 times bracket 24 plus 4y. This is number 1 times 8. This here, 7 times 4, that is 28. 28 to 7 times 4 to is 14 plus 2 is 148. Plus 7 times 4 is 28y all over 8 plus 6y is equal to 59. I'll put it together. Therefore, this is all over 1, this is all over 1. We can multiply everything here by 8 to remove this 8. To remove this 8. So 8 times 8. So if you multiply everything here by 8, I want to get this clear. This is 59 all over Lower one, so we are multiplying everything by eight. So this one is a, a fraction, a fraction, numerator and denominator. So eight over one times numerator over eight. This one comes with that. So this will be having eight over one times one forty eight plus twenty eight over y all over eight. Uh -huh. Plus eight over one times six y all over one is equal to eight over one times 59 all over 1. That is what I mean by multiplying everything by 8 over 1. E na here goes with that. We mean with 148 plus 28y is it plus this times this gives you 48y is equal to 8 times 9 that is 72 carry 7 for 8 times 5 is 40 plus 7 is 472 also, when you collect like terms, this will be 28y plus 48y plus 48y. Then take this to the side, take this to the side, it becomes minus 148. So this is equal to 472 minus 148. So this and this, you can just put it here, here will be 6. This will be 76. So we have 76y is equal to minus this one. Here we have 4. Here remains 6, 2. Here remains 3. Uh -huh. Here remains 4, still 4, sorry. So this is 6, 2. This is 4. This is 3. So this will be 324. Divide this by 76. Divide this by 76. And we may find the value of what? Y. So we can say this one goes here one times. It goes there how many times? Nana, you can try that. If you say six, that is six, or two, no. If you say four times, yes, it goes there four times. So y is four. Y is four. Because this will give you four times six, twenty-four, you write four. This is twenty-eight because I'm thirty-two. So we'll find our y to be 4. And therefore, let us get our x, our x. And here down here is our x. Our x was 24 plus 4y plus, divided by 8, 8. So we take our x is equal to 24 plus 4y all over 8. So we may have this. So this x will be 24 plus 4 times 4 because 4 is the same as 4 times 4, y. And y is 4 divided by 8. x is equal to 24 plus 16 over 8, which is 40 all over 8. 8 here, 1 there, 5. x is 5. y is 4. If you post, you can check how I've done it. That's how we solve using substitution method. So in the next lesson, we look at using elimination. See you.